You are a very difficult people to get to. Speakers were just superb. Occupation can't get in the way of communication. You're part of, you know, one sort of common thing at the same time. It portrayed the creative energy that's in Palestine. It's a really useful tool in coping and fighting the occupation. I couldn't be in Bethlehem, and that's a killer because I'm Palestinian and I cannot, I've never been to Palestine. And I'm not, I, I'm, I don't have a passport that allows me to enter, so uh, not being able to be in Bethlehem and knowing other people in Tadex Ramallah are in the same situation that I am, I thought it's the perfect chance to go to Beirut. And it's the only country I can go without a visa because I have a living doctor. I belong to a certain cluster and I didn't look beyond this. The event was, was really a, a turning point. And I'm really glad that I was involved in Tadex Ramallah because now I have really interest to look at uh, the other stories. I was curious. I, I overcame this non-curiosity for Lebanon. Now I'm interested in what happens in Lebanon. I just had no idea what, what they could possibly do. And this is where the curiosity was. And I think it was a very enriching experience. The thing I know about Palestinians are uh, the Palestinian camps. I don't know much about uh, what's happening in Palestine. I was always considering only one side. I was never interested to see the other side. We saw the other side, the people who are not Palestinian, actually dedicated themselves to, to stand against the occupation in Palestine. And it's something remarkable. But I remember very, very vivid his story about the dog. And uh, I say, Noura, Habibti, do you realize what's happening here? You have a document that three and a half million Palestinians will kill for. I start to realize that in any case is a country under occupation. To, to begin to understand what is it like to live in, in oppression, and the only knowledge and experience I have as a Saudi woman is being oppressed in my own country because of my gender. And, and I use that information in me to connect with the with what they what the people had to go through and what they meant by hardship in life and I think it connected to me personally from that perspective and I believe that what what you actually did was very important to create the awareness around around the, the whole the Palestinian issue I was in a state of passion you know with what I just saw and I said, I bet you anything that this will make an impact to the world. Because I know what TED is. I know who watches it. I, you know, the educated elite, I know who watches it. You know, I said, it will make an impact to the world.